Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on AK Multimedia Mixbox CS. It's very exciting, AK Multimedia has released a new channel strip multi effect with 70 effects from the T Rack S amplitude and sample tank uh, products or family of products. So, as you know, really, really nice effects. Um, it's an application which uh, um, works as a standalone as it is presented at the moment on the screen but it also works as an audio unit instance therefore inside GarageBand, Cubase's, AUM and etc. As you can see in the standalone version you have the possibility of have up to eight racks which are here at the top and for each of the rack, you can load up to eight different effects, which are shown here. Before I delve into uh, the demonstration of the presets and the effects, let me say that I'm waiting for some promo codes um, for a giveaway competition from IK Multimedia. So hopefully they will arrive soon. I don't know how many but keep checking on the video description and I will update it shortly with instruction on how to participate to the competition. So let's go for it. Let's, let me come back to the point that uh, there are uh, 70 effects and they are categorized in different categories for um, convenience, of course. For example, on amplitude here, we have uh, nine amps which is really nice. We have different channel strips, three of them. We have also delays, three different types of delays. Distortion as well, five distortion. Dynamics as well, seven dynamics. We have EQ, four EQs as well. Filter as well, 10 filters. So really a nice modulation, something like 17 different type of modulation, different reverbs as well, uh, nine, if I'm correct, reverbs, and also some saturation effects as well. There are more than 600 presets, which you can load for your rack. You just click here, and uh, where you can uh, uh, initialize your rack, save it, in. For example, if you want to create your own, copy it, but then you have the possibility to call up a rack based on category, a rack, for example, based on bass, like so, and or based on drums, guitar, keys, even vocals, lots and lots of possibility. When you load an effect, for example, if I click on here and I select uh, amps and then American Vintage, then you can further click on this icon and then underneath each of the effect of the processor you can uh, then call for a additional selection for preset for that particular processor which is really really nice additionally um, you have in standalone uh, version the possibility to play some sample so you have audio demos uh, as you can see there, and I'm going to use this for the demonstration because this first video is based on giving you an introduction and also on how it sounds. So for example, let's go, go on audio uh, demo, let's select a bass. Here you can decide if to play in the loop mode, which of course I would want that. And also uh, you can decide uh, the output volume and which rack you want also the output to go to. Rack one will do for me. I select, um, uh, I lower down the output, which you can do it from here. And you can also impact on the input here as well. Additional things you can select, for example, uh, sidechain here as well. And if you click on this button, you can also further customize uh, dry and wet settings for each of the processor. We have also a mixer section. You click on this button and this is where you access your mixer. And looks at the attention uh, on details. Um, it's really, really fantastic. Okay, so 
Um, let's play the uh, sample. Like so. I'm going to change the settings on the um, amp so you can hear the, some of the difference. And look, it's very, very simple as you would expect. Let's try, for example, a different amp. Let's go um, under the selection of the amp. Let's choose a, a British tube lead. And let's click play again. Let's select a different bass. And let's choose a different preset for the processor as well. Okay, let's select some drums because these are quite nice, particularly when you play you play them with different amps. So let's start with this one. A nice vintage rock. Okay, let's change the uh, amp. Let's go for, uh, I don't know, something classic. And you can hear the difference. Let's change drums. Perhaps this one. Or maybe this one. Less to choose from. And of course, you can also load presets. I mentioned there are presets for your rack, more than 600. So let's choose one dedicated to drums. So for example, I don't know, the basic acoustic. Um, let's try this one. And this will load different uh, uh, processors, as you can see. And we have uh, four of them here. Let's click play. Let's try some uh, um, guitar samples, which are really, really nice. And uh, so let's initialize the rack, like so. And um, let's load, for example, a standard, uh, why not, a jazz amp 120. And let's load a guitar one sample.
it's really nice and easy as you can see change the preset for the processor really really straightforward Let's change uh, the sample for like, guitar. Let's go for guitar free. And this is really nice. Let's change the amp to something really <laughs> more uh, energizing. Let's try something again different. Let's try a piano. Okay, and let's load, for example, a, uh, for example, why not a reverb? And let's go for ambience. Okay, and let's click play. Let's change the piano sample. And let's change the preset for the ambience uh, uh, processor. Okay, let's choose a different sample, a sample perhaps with more energy, piano foam. nice let's choose this reflection okay let me go for example on uh, uh, vocals let's choose a male vocals let's hear what it sounds like but let's remove uh, first of all the effect processor I couldn't wait for it to be okay we know what it sounds like that's great and let's choose this time a preset let's go inside vocals and look how the selection fantastic so let's choose something dedicated to male for example a male pop we wait for the rack to load because it will contain different uh, uh, processor or different effects as you can see a number of those have been loaded on the screen okay look at that six different type of processor and look how nice they really really look so let's uh, check on the volume and let's play with the uh, all the effects are on. Finally over. They're gonna turn me back to stone. But it doesn't mean that much to me. It's an illusion. I'll be on board the train for home. I could wait for it to be finally over they're gonna turn me back to stone but it doesn't mean that much to me it's an illusion i'll be on board the train as you can see lots of different options so now let me show you how it works inside for example AUM as an audio unit instance okay here we are so I prepared a file player here so um, and I have added uh, the mix box as uh, an effect 
Okay, so let's uh, disable the effect first of all, and let's listen to um, the uh, picking, the guitar picking uh, file played. <laughs> Okay, and as you can see, click on it. And in this case, for example, I configured it to work in a sidechain mode. So I'm using Digistick as a source for the sidechain. And I loaded uh, um, Mixbox as a multi bus uh, option. Okay, so and this is what it sounds like. And you can see here, uh, the meter is going up and down based on the drums being played by Digistick. And it's very simple to enable. You set your ratio, you set your threshold, and as I said, uh, you have to make the right connection uh, in AUM so that the Digistick use the multibus uh, uh, of a mix box, and there you go. You just select a MIDI, sorry, not a MIDI, an effect processor, in this case, bus comp, and is straightforward really okay here we have another example i speeded up the uh, video so you don't have to see the setup i've loaded um, module pro uh, from cork which is really nice uh, great piano and i selected an acoustic piano i loaded again uh, mixed box so let's uh, maximize the window i don't have any presets loaded at the moment so actually let me make the keyboard uh, to disappear so I can have a, a bigger screen for a mix box so let's start adding for example a reverb and let's choose something like a digital reverb and let's customize that further uh, I don't know let's choose something like um, part tail why not and let's try nice thick reverb and now as you can see you can add other uh, others effects so let's choose uh, um, the second one and let's add for example a delay a digital delay and let's set that to be something like a cinematic tail Okay, let's change that to a short doubler and let's again add another effect. For example, why not under dynamics? Uh, maybe no, not under dynamics. Under, for example, uh, modulation, let's add a chorus and let's choose a preset or something like Strange Sisters. And um, let's reduce the wetness of this uh, reverb. And let's see what it sounds like now. As you can see, you can make all the adjustment you need. And let's reduce the, the mixer Add a little bit more there. Let's change the wetness of these chorus. Perhaps too much now let's go for single chorus and now it is more like a normal chorus but as you can see you can use a mix box uh, inside in this case AUM you can add a lot of different effects which you can use uh, to further customize and give characters to your composition I hope you enjoy see you next time at the next video bye